How do you react to what's being made of your family history? Sure. I feel like there are a lot of people in the streets, and this has been mm -hmm. said to me as well, who feel that what happened to your father all those years ago sure. prevents you from having impartiality in this case. Well, let me tell you something. The, um, 50 years ago, just over 50 years ago, my father was killed. Uh, my father uh, was killed. He was a police officer in the line of duty. But I think that point is, is irrelevant because if you go back, I know what it's like to lose a loved one to violence. And when I was 12 years old, you know, nobody said uh, the policeman was killed in the line of duty tonight. No one said your father, the policeman, was killed tonight. All I knew and all I heard was your father's not coming home. I know what that's like. I know the pain that goes with the, the loss of a loved one to violence. And that status of that person, the circumstances around it, don't lessen the pain, they don't change the pain. You know, I know what it's like to grow up with a, a brother and two sisters and a mother and no father. Uh, I know what it's like to look back years later and uh, see what my mother had to put up with, raising the four of us without her husband and companion. And I know what it was like to look back and, and watch my mother grow old and die without the man, the only man she ever loved, at her side. So I know the pain of that, and, and the fact that he was a police officer and killed in the line of duty had nothing to do with any of that. You know, what it did to me, and, and did, it, did it affect me? Absolutely affected me. And what it did for me is, or to me, was made me a, a, I think, a fierce advocate for victims of violence. And I've done what I can through my entire adult career uh, to do what I can for victims of violence. Everybody needs to know, deserves to know, wants to know what and why. And if there's something to be done about it criminally, then yes, do that. So the fact that he was a police officer was a circumstance that existed but to a 12-year-old and, and to, uh, you know, my sisters who are 13 and, and 11 and my brother who was 7 and my mother, it, it meant nothing. What, what was important is that we lost a loved one to the, to the victim of violence. And so I, and I know the pain that the Brown family is going through right now. Um, and that doesn't change depending upon the circumstances of that. It's, it's a loss. And, and it's a loss that, uh, that they deserve ultimately to, to have everything put out there. And all the distractions that are going out there are, are inexcusable. But, that's my response to, you know, the, to the fact that, uh, and it certainly didn't make me, you know, an advocate for, for police officers who were victims of violence. It didn't make me an advocate for people who were victims of police violence. It made me, a, 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 and I think a very fierce advocate for victims of violence, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of their status in life. And I think I've done that very well over the years.